Almost 300 students from 61 schools will be going through this obstacle course using their drones and only a hundred of them will be going through to the next round. They have to maneuver their drones through this course autonomously using AI. So let's see which of these 300 students will survive this challenge. Welcome to day two of the National Youth Tech Championship. This is a premier competition for Infocom Media Club CCA members. Last week, we got to see the students engage in all aspects of the competition, from programming to challenges to even using AI to create content. And you can really see them being curious, confident and creative around tech. Today, the schools will be put to the test to see how they can handle teamwork, machine learning, coding with Python and a time challenge. And on top of all of that, they will be capturing and creating content all happening today. And this competition is made possible by IED in partnership with Google Cloud and I can't wait to see the students tackle the obstacle course. That's right! For today's obstacle course, is just a glimpse of what's about to come in the semi-finals. So let's check it out! Honestly, the obstacle course, it doesn't look too difficult. I think we could easily fly through it using remote-controlled drones or planes. Mm, of course you can do that, but our students are challenged to coat and fly the drone autonomously through these obstacles using machine learning with Google Cloud technology. That's why you see them typing frantically on their Chromebooks before they test. So it's kind of like the self-driving cars and self-moving robots? You are right. The drones have inbuilt cameras and sensors which can upload images to Google Cloud to train an auto ML model. With this trained ML model, it can function like a human brain which can predict whether the obstacle is in front of the drone. After receiving the prediction from the model, the students need to coat the drone such that it can position and maneuver itself to fly through or around the obstacle. Wow, honestly, this does not sound easy at all. No wonder the students get so excited when they get to engage with the drone and also fly it past an obstacle. Speaking of which, let's now look at the scoring system for the NYTC qualifiers. The first obstacle is the square gap. 100 points will be awarded for recognition of the square gap and 50 points if the drone successfully flies through the hole. Obstacle number two is this, gate two. Similarly, it is still a square gap, but now it is positioned at the bottom. Mechanics are still the same. 100 points are awarded for recognition of the gap, 50 points awarded if the drone goes through it successfully. This is our last obstacle, obstacle number three. Now, this obstacle is made up of a pillar and also a platform for the drone to land on. 100 points are awarded if the drone can recognize this pillar. And then we have an additional 50 points if the drone successfully flies upwards and lands successfully on the platform. Furthermore, 100 bonus points will be awarded if teams can successfully code their drones to fly around the pillar before landing on the landing pad. There will also be a bonus of 50 points if at least two legs of the drone are found on the landing pad. And teams will also be awarded additional points based on their time scores. How do you guys uh, think you all will do? I think you'll do really well yeah. and you'll go to the qualifiers. This year is going to be different. We don't know what to expect, but we all have to try our best. And I'm pretty sure that's what all the teams, as a mindset, all teams should bring here. If all goes well, I think we'll be fine. But yeah. we're just scared something unexpected happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, why, why not great? Why just okay? Step one, uh, use the Chromebook. Step two, don't use the MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how serious the guy Everyone looks. is yeah. very, very serious. It's so a serious, serious. Oh. So they still have 8 minutes to try. Hopefully, they get it on the landing pad. We actually don't know what, what the problem is. Was it spinning at least? Is it like... No, it just didn't work. The code just didn't work. We did try to collaborate and work through the problems we had with the code. Our drone didn't really fly at all. It fly a bit, right? No, like the code didn't run at all. So not like it didn't lift off? Like on the... Chromebook, it's like there's a lot of errors and the code didn't run at all. So yeah. now our solution is we're trying to change our drone and see troubleshoot our solution because we are 100% sure that our code okay. works. Okay! Oh. Oh. Seven and a half minutes left! Oh. Oh. Seven and a half minutes left! What happened there? What happened there? Wait, uh, no, no, I'm not sure. We did lots of funny mistakes and it was like, although it was quite chaotic, I think it's the, the memories that counts and like we learn from the mistakes. Coding is actually a lot harder than it seems. Yeah. I thought Python was all the same thing, like use the same code. But this is using like, it's another thing. We did change our drone last minute. 
Oh, what happened? The motor broke because we flew into the ceiling. We flew into the ceiling and the motor broke. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So we had to do a last minute hardware change just okay. today and it caused a few problems. I see Clampdown going next. You know, I was pretty tight with their seniors last year, so I'm kind of rooting for them to win. The first one. Oh no, oh no, oh Last week it went like this. This week it's going like this. Yeah. They look pretty nervous, but I think they can do it. Oh, oh, making one whole loop. Oh. It's moving slightly slower, but I think they are taking careful steps. You know what they say, slow and steady means you're slow and steady. Oh! oh. At least they land. Okay, at least they land. At least they land. So nerve breaking. Yeah. I think now they're supposed to spin around the pillar. Really? Yeah. Spin around? Oh. Or they can just opt to land. I know you will do a spin around. I will do the right? spin. I will do the spin. Oh. I like the challenge. The first time you all landed with like one one leg on the yeah. on the pad. Mm -hmm. And the second time you guys succeeded with two, mm -hmm. two legs. So that was the additional bonus points, right? Oh, where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, that's a really big <laughs> That's round. a big spin. <laughs> and this time they are controlling it autonomously, right? So yeah. they just click a button and it's supposed to do everything. This year is different because last year we used to do manual flying. Yeah. Oh, you have to support the drone. Sing a song for it. Come on, it's like a plant. You have to nurture it and love it. Sing! Sing! Let it go! Let it go! No! It looks... It's the wrong song, bro. It's the wrong song. I like that you guys were very intense when you needed to be like just like shouting at each other, telling him, come on, go encourage the drone, go do this, go do that. But ultimately, how are you guys as a team? Uh, we do go back to school and practice all this. That's why. Uh, we increase the accuracy by having thus We did actually build some small mock-up of the setup. Wow! At, at, at the school? Yeah, in school. Wow! How fast can you do it? Is it one minute? 58 seconds. 58 seconds. I want it so fast! Alright, let's do it! We're gonna see if they can get the faster timing. Okay, let's go! Whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on! He's doing the, the spin. Oh, it has to go one round. Yeah. It has to go one round before it goes for the landing. One that round is for... crazy! Yeah. Wow! Oh. Woo! Oh. oh my god! The uh, important thing is that you took the effort out of the time that you allocated to make sure that you perfect it and it has paid off today. How does it feel watching your students actually complete the circuit? You hear me? I was jumping and jumping. Yeah. Out. You are very excited for them. Yeah, it's just like, uh, I'm so relieved that they have cleared this round. Yeah, and you must be very proud, right? I have this batch of kids who are singing kids who are very, very enthusiastic and very self-directed. And they're very hungry. How much does this competition mean to all of you? A lot. Uh, in Media Club, right, there are very few competitions that we go for because Media Club is not a sport of performing arts. We don't have competitions like NSG, National School Games, as well as SYF. Yeah. So, uh, this is one of the biggest competitions that uh, Media Club has uh, participated in because it's a uh, youth tech championship, it's yep. a national one. Yep. And, and it's broadcasted on YouTube on our channels for so many people to watch. Yes. You oh, will yeah. return to school as champions, right? Definitely. Yes. That's the aim, that's the goal. The one before, and we'll do it again. Whoa! 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 <laughs> students are stressed. Students are feeling the intensity. They are all trying to fly their drones and land on this spot. Some of them are making it, some are not. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone here has come here without feeling a little bit nervous at least, but I'm feeling confident that me and my team can at least do well in this competition. At least we try our best. They get a second try, right? You know the returning champions, they actually brought measuring tape. And what is the measuring tape used for? So they can measure the distance and actually calculate that in the code. Oh. Besides. So They're going the extra mile. Oh. With everything we know already, with everything we can find, we've consolidated it all together. We had a good result last year and of course, as everybody is, everybody's hoping for the best, we do too. So how do you think this competition will help you pursue your interest in tech? Um, I think that uh, it kind of equips me with the skills, like some skill sets that I might use if I were to pursue a career in this field. For example, like AI and machine learning. We learn the power of machine learning. Yeah, I love things like uh, flying in drone using Python programming and like implementing, detecting of uh, AI, AI stuff. Yes. More just also like meeting other Infocom clubs from different schools and then also seeing how they would be and also learning stuff from them. 
Because infocom clubs can learn from each other. I feel like the world, the future, is mm. like a world of technology. So like getting familiar with all these technology stuff will be useful for everyone in the future. I also think that we'll be uh, needing those skills so that we can like have a placement in the real economic world. I think it's very important for youth to understand what is going to happen because by the time from now until like when we grow up, even though like we are technically now like immersed in understanding of AI, by the time AI will be so advanced or there will be whole new technologies. So I think it's very important because it will definitely shape like our careers definitely, it will shape how we live our lives in the future and therefore I think it's very important for the youth to get prepared for a world that's going to be changing so quickly. Like it's not more of the worries that AI will replace humans, it's more of how humans that knows how to use AI that will replace like this entire generation. The results are in and here are the schools that will be going through to the next round. ACSI, BT, Bowen, Catholic High, Clementi Town, Commonwealth, Damai, Lemon High, Green Ridge, Hua Chong Institute, Nanxiao High, Nanghua High, Naval Base, North Brooks, NUS High, Hayes High, Presbyterian High, RGS, RI, River Valley High, San Margaret, Unity, West Spring, Sing Min, and finally, Yishun Town. It was really amazing to see the students battle it out on the obstacle course. And this was not even the final big stage yet. I can't wait for the final episode where the top 12 teams will actually battle it out and all tap this up in the largest drone obstacle course. Let us know which team you're rooting for and if your favourite school made it to the next round. We will also see you next week where we will see if we are actually smarter than AI. Bye-bye! Of course I'm smarter than AI. I don't think I'm, you I'm are. I'm smarter than everything. I don't think so.